the picturesque Peters with the backdrop to another tragic fire in quaint Choiseul, barely escaping with their lives and just the clothes on their backs, a family of four, including three children, are thankful to be alive but heartbroken over the loss of all their earthly possessions as a fire at Monsignor Choiseul raised their home to the ground Wednesday morning. The blaze destroyed a house full of treasured memories and valuables, including appliances acquired over a lifetime of hard work. All the children think destroy clothes, books. There's still a fire in the house. The charred remnants of the modest family home were still smoldering when HTS 7 correspondent Desmond Collymore, a retired fireman, made the long, arduous journey on foot over grueling terrain to the remote location. The mother of four and her children were too overcome with emotion to speak to HTS, having just lost their entire life's belongings, including coveted school textbooks to the fire. Her brother, Randy Modest, recounts the moment he was jolted by the news of the devastating fire. I get the call this morning that my sister's house was burned down by fire. So I decided to immediately come here and see, assess the situation, because I'm a contractor. The house is 20 by 26. Um, the house value for things and the entire property, almost 200,000. She have lost and she have to start from beginning. Sadly, this is not the first time this family has been displaced by fire. Modest is also unnerved by a tree he blames for obstructing the path of first responders of the fire service for the second time. Fire trucks reportedly had to negotiate the area gingerly. As pal rep, district rep, community, whatever, there's a mango tree affecting the fire service because this house was burned nine years ago. And this, was own, uh, this property was owned by my mother and then my sister rebuilt it. And that mango tree over there is affecting the, the fire truck from coming in. And that's what we have to destroy that, um, that mango tree. So there's a lot of things happening and sometimes we never think about the future. The house fire is the second devastating blaze in the wider Schwazel community in 24 hours. Tipsy's restaurant and bar was flattened by fire on Tuesday morning, with the business owner lamenting the response time of firefighters deployed from the nearest firehouse in neighboring Viewfort. Residents are irked by the lack of emergency response services in the vast constituency. It's time for us to have a fire, st uh, fire station in um, Schwazel because um, I experienced two house burn. My relative, my sister house burn, look my niece house burn for that same problem of the fire service. Yes, and that mango tree, when that truck reached there, they cannot pass. It need to destroy. Shuzel need a fire station, you know, because by the time 45 truck to leave you for and come here, the house already gone flat down. They need to do something about that. It is not clear where the family in desperate need of aid will go from here. The cause of the fire has not been determined. The incident is reportedly under investigation by the St. Lucia Fire Service. Sola Jalfred, HCS News Force.